Welcome. Welcome to sunny, warm Florida, everybody. Today, February 2nd, 2, 2, 2, 2 by 2, we gather to celebrate the wedding and marriage of Kayla and Joshua, two souls destined to be together. Today, you are blessed by being surrounded by family and friend, and we also know that Kayla's dad sends his love of blessings and support to this sacred occasion. Joshua and Kayla, you came here today as committed partners, friends, lovers, and you will leave with two more titles, that of husband and wife. Your relationship will be the same, yet different. It will be stronger, like the water that lies before us. It will be ever-changing, yet always there. Sometimes it could be cloudy or even stormy. But just as the sun is always shining above the clouds, your love is always here above the storms. Today is truly a beautiful day. As both of you are blessed with God's greatest gifts, the gift of, of abiding love and devotion between a man and a woman, and how special it is to get married on the beach, because patience, fortitude, and the passage of time have made these random elements into a beautiful and natural oasis. A sanctuary from the outside world. A natural wonder that remains protected only through the goodwill of those who believe and support it. True love is like the ocean. Spreading itself out and crossing all boundaries and frontiers envelops the whole world. Love is like the sea. It is a moving thing, taking its shape from the shore it meets. And it is different with every shore, different with every day. Love is different in every marriage. The tide, the waves, the storm can come, but how strong your love is and the strength to float determines the final journey to a good relationship. Like love, the waves are never still, the water never the same, yet it is always perfect as it is. Like the waves lapping the shore now, love is an ever-moving being, a place of boundless power and possibility. You met at a club in downtown Detroit in 2011 in February. Just that fact alone makes this Floridian shudder with cold. You are hearty souls. But look at this lovely day. You plan on moving to Florida after the wedding. I have a feeling that you won't be the only ones. Your eyes met across the room. After that, Joshua was looking around for her. You just wanted to meet Kayla so much it was like a gravity pull. Finally, you had your first conversation there in the club. During drinks and conversation, Joshua actually introduced himself as K instead of J. <laughs> and that's how nervous he was. <laughs> he got her number, saw her a couple weeks later. You were friends, then best friends. It already felt like you were together. But it took a date at Texas Roadhouse in Madison Heights in 2016 to make it official. That date was the continuation of, of an organic process of building your relationship, and it couldn't be any better. Your communication is great. You can talk about anything. Even when you disagree, you are a team, and it is always a team effort. You like to have fun by yourself and together with your friends, even if they don't show up. You are a self-contained unit. You love to cook together. Chicken Alfredo, <laughs> tacos, chicken about everything. You love being creative together. Jay works at Chrysler and Kay is business minded and is looking forward to entrepreneurship in the future. The proposal was at a birthday celebration, January 28th last year. You went out with friends, joking with her that you got her a pony for her birthday. Got everybody into position on the party bus. Even the bus driver knew. You got down on one knee in white pants. That is love. 
and proposed. After a little crying of happy tears, here we are today. This is not your first time in Florida. Kayla has been coming here for years and took Jay on a trip to Florida as a surprise gift, a birthday gift for his first time in Miami. Your hopes and dreams include moving to Florida, opening a business, starting a family at some point. Kayla and Joshua, life is given to us as individuals, yet we yearn and then we learn to live together as husband and wife. Man and woman were created together. The creation of love is given to you, given to all of us by those that love us. We learn to love by those loving us. Learning to love and being living together is both life's greatest challenge and life's greatest reward. As you travel through life together, remember the true measure of success, the true avenue to joy and peace is to be found within the love you hold in your hearts. Support that love, protect it, nurture it, give it time to grow and mature and soon you will see what we have before us, a vision of splendor and paradise. By choosing to spend your lives together, you are pledging to share the responsibility of making this union one of equality, understanding, and strength. Today, you're making that promise sacred. And so I ask you in the presence of God, these witnesses and the universe, Kayla, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hands and your heart in marriage to Joshua today? Joshua, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hand and your heart in marriage to Kayla today? Yes. And so I ask you your marriage vows. Joshua, do you take Kayla to be your lawfully wedded wife? I don't. Wait. <laughs> Before these witnesses, do you vow to love her, care for her as long as you both shall live? Do you take her with all her faults and strengths as you offer yourself with all your faults and strengths? Do you promise to help her when she needs help and turn to her when you need help? Do you choose Kayla as the person with whom? You will spend your life now. <laughs> Kayla, do you take Joshua to be your lawfully wedded husband? Before these witnesses, do you vow to love him and care for him for as long as you both shall live? Do you take him with all his faults and strengths as you offer yourself to him with all your faults and strengths? Do you promise to help him when he needs help and turn to him when you need help? Do you choose Joshua as the person with whom you will spend your life? Yes, I do. <laughs> May we have the rings, please. Best ring bearer at this wedding. <laughs> Kayla, I ask you to put Joshua's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Uh, left. left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I give, you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my love, my faith in our strength together, and my covenant to learn and grow with you. I take you as my husband today. You may secure the ring on Joshua's finger. Joshua, I ask you to put Kayla's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a sign of my love, my faith in our strength together, and my covenant to learn and grow with you. 
Today I take you as my wife. You may secure the ring on Kayla's finger. I want to ask you to keep holding hands because we know as sunlight floods the sky, may love flood your beings. As stars break up the darkness, may you bring new light and life to each other. As waves lap the shore, may your love be ever moving and full of life. As the wind cools our faces, may you be refreshed by each other's presence. As the tree's roots grow deeper, may your lives always be deep and intertwined. As the palms sway in the wind, may your flexibility bring you strength. As the fish swim unseen, may you always keep mystery in your love. And as the sun lights up the sky as it sets, may you light each other's hopes and dreams. Joshua and Kayla, in the presence of these witnesses, God and the universe, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. I therefore declare your marriage to be valid and binding and pronounce you Husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.